There's been a lot of hoo-ha lately from the allegedly liberal left who insist on telling everybody else how to feel about the art of quote-unquote monstrous men. According to them, artists who've done terrible things, Roman Polanski, John Lennon, Pol Pot, cannot be separated from the art which they created. The Pianist, Yellow Submarine, this part. And so, their argument goes that we have a moral obligation as a society to fire these artists' creations from the cultural camp. Even though these same liberals claim to be anti-gun, and cannons are basically massive guns. I'd say it's political correctness gone mad, but you're not allowed to say things are mad anymore, are you? Because it's derogatory to the loonies. So instead, today I present definitive proof that great art can and should be enjoyed on its own merits, with the first in a new three-part series, entitled Who Cares What They Did In Their Private Lives? But they didn't do it to me. Take a look at this sumptuous landscape. Note the delicate care of the brushstrokes. Heed the attention to detail paid to every blade of grass. This is, of course, where I buried the body by Huxton Limpley. Limpley as renowned for these vibrant natural scenes as he was for the violent, unnatural murders he was found later to have both committed and forced others to commit. Why are we being told that we can no longer appreciate this man's groundbreaking work, literally groundbreaking here, in his depiction of broken soil? Just because we found out he made his 10-year-old daughter stab his newborn son to death with a sharpened Barbie doll while he masturbated one time? No, admittedly, not just for that reason. Also because he slaughtered every married woman on his street one night because he felt like it. But either way, I say those things don't make this painting not good, and I want to be allowed to like it. If we are no longer permitted, as a society, to enjoy this terrific painting, then who's the real monster here? Huxton Limpley? Or the moralizing liberal left? He might have killed many innocent people, but at least he wasn't a killjoy. I'll leave that musing to infuse with you until the same time next week, when I'll once again be looking the other way from a man's violent crimes. Because over there, he's done a very nice painting. Goodbye. <laughs>